Welcome to Buy Forever, just a really quick video showing this composite TV output that I've been doing. Um, so I've been, been inspired by Ben Heck's videos on the AT Tiny 10 uh, video games console. They generate an NTSC signal. Um, by the way, all the codes to this is on Gale, we'll put a link in the description. Uh, what I'm trying to do is create a PAL TV signal. Um, so far, I've got it to synchronize the TV, show that in a minute. I've uh, got screen memory setting up for now as a, a checkerboard. So I've got uh, Y says X size defined. Uh, we set up some timer interrupts. Um, spin round until um, that timer expires. And then we'd go, for, we draw a V sync for in V sync mode, horizontal sync that mode that's that's the start of the line then we go to draw pixels on line um, and at the bottom we've got these line counters and this is what we do just to check where we are on the screen and yeah uh, i'll just show you that this is the i've got so far this is meant to be a checkerboard i'm not drawing it all the way to the edge or from the start i've had some issues with that or oh, to the bottom as well uh tweaking the numbers and yeah um I'm using exactly the same circuit as Ben Haig had. So we got, although he had an AT Tiny 10, I've just got an Arduino. It's um, AT Mega 3 to 8. Um, this basically is a voltage divider here. Uh, I did have it connected up to scope initially. Whoops, that's the cable. Just to try and get the timing right and stuff. Um, yeah so there still are some problems with uh, the little timing in a line um, see the top top line is what it's meant to be like all the way down but in checkerboard but for some reason there's like an extra delay happening here and it's progressive it gets worse towards the end of the line um, so it's moving further into the uh, where it's meant to be a, a black pixel or um, black area um so yeah all, all this the, this issues here these all need sorting out but it's really trying to optimize the loop uh where i'm i'm uh, drawing the screen memory and remember here we've got no custom hardware uh to, to do any of this is all do it, being done by what they call bit banging which is uh, using software to output um, what really should be done in in hardware because uh, with hardware you can get the timing exactly right like for example if we just uh, change all this for a, an FPGA um, you know it'd probably, probably be a lot easier or uh, for example in the Commodore 64 had the VIC chip and all the rest of the custom electronics to do that. So basically, in in 1982, uh, they were way more advanced than this. <laughs> but anyway, uh, it's just a curious, uh, interesting project that I'm doing. So, yeah, if you like the video, please give a thumbs up and leave a comment if you like as well. Cheers. Bye for now.